Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is my little angel, my spirit dog. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week is a big week. The sun will say farewell to intense sun in Aries to enter the beautiful, grounded, and creative sign of Taurus on Tuesday. So happy birthday to you, Aries. Happy birthday to you, Taurus. It's your turn to be loved and to be pampered. The moon will visit the signs of Virgo and Libra and Scorpio. On Monday, Pluto begins its five-month retrograde, helping us to clean up our lives, to make a fresh start. And that's also socially, in world affairs, with the government and politics. It's like a new beginning. You could feel like hope is in the air. The truth will set everyone free, in other words. By September, I promise you sanity and the light will be restored the darkness will start to fade away but it's good there's no awareness of light when there's no shadow and america does need to heal a little shadow self we all do right that's why we're here on earth on friday it will be magical you have to put friday on your calendar we have a romantic beautiful full moon opposite the sun early in the morning but better and better in the day bringing us a positive change and hope and optimism it's a time also to celebrate earth day and also venus planet of love will connect with uranus the crazy one bringing us some kind of beautiful surprises positive one get ready for a fabulous and probably the most fabulous weekend of the whole year 2016. I'm telling you the monkey year 2016 this weekend unbelievable. Saturday it's Passover that will begin for our Jewish friends so muzzle tough and also the biggest news also like I told you last week Sunday Mars planet of action of war in Sagittarius will start retrograding for many weeks to come slowing things down making things a little bit more you know less crazy and also more smooth in politics in our lives in career in world affairs you'll see this it's starting to make sense a good time also to slow down for all of us and to truly review our past and see our options to be the best we can be we need to slow down adjust our expectations to also make sure it reflects who we are the kind of energy we have it's very important to keep the peace to treat other people with respect because it's gonna really fire back if we don't it's not a good time for surgery not a good time for lawsuits mars retrograde also uh, in in the sign of sagittarius also affects foreign travels sport competition grandchildren's and laws and anything to do with religion belief system history and higher education and even politics so this week expect a lot of stuff uh, that will sort of get starting to settle and will get answers in all those fields it's all for the better good at the end of the day on the weekend keep a strong hold on your heart and on your wallet and Uranus and Venus will push us a little bit on the wild side. It'll be fabulous, except that we we have to be a little wise. We'll have so much fun that we may even forget to be wise sometimes. So let's keep fun and wisdom together, all right? Like brothers and sisters. So let me start with Aries. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you for the last week. The sun entering also your financial sector brings you a lot of optimism and Mars also retrograding in your karmic house brings you reflection it makes you alert it makes you also reflective of the things you would like to manifest in your life you also get answers in career in love in family life you're handling things in a very wise way people are shocked at how calm you are what a difference it makes a week in your life your experience of the past will serve you very well in the future and on the weekend you should go out and show up and your beauty because people admire you these days your magical color red lucky numbers 4 and 46. 
Taurus, it's your big week. It's your time to celebrate you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, the sun entering your sign. And Mars, a ritual grading and your shared resources house make you assertive and more confident, more patient. Well, you're usually patient, but not even more so. So slow down a little bit, be a turtle, not a rabbit, and do things diligently. You will attract all kinds of people, all kinds of situations that will help you even see the bigger picture about your life. You're moving ahead, don't look back, and it's a very good time to invest and to create projects to make money grow in your life. Push on your dreams and make sure they express your true self. Friends will play a key role this week, and definitely on the weekend, you could say hope is in the air. You will feel special. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, 5 and 32. Gemini's, the sun entering your career sector and also Mars going backwards in your relationship house, make you quite popular, very generous and assertive and with a desire to make some changes, and it's good. A good time also to make other people feel happy because what you give this week will be returned to you. Make peace with the past. And somehow dealings with neighbors, siblings, family members is very instrumental and you'll be able to have great conversations to bring you more peace in your family life, in your personal life. And if you're single, also there's some good news. If you're single, you could meet fabulous friends that could become even lovers eventually. So go out. On the weekend, doing good deeds is a gift in itself for you. Your magical color yellow, lucky numbers, 3 and 38. Cancer, Cancer, the sun entering your social sector, make you popular and Mars retrograding in your work house and your health house somehow allows you to see the bigger picture about your future. You're more aware than ever and you are at the right place with the right people at the right time. Magic continues to be in the air, especially this week, you're going to go, wow. So it's like get yourself out of the way, let the universe surprise you. Partners, co-workers, praise your talents and your great performances. A good time also to learn, to research, and to launch a new idea. Relatives and family are generous with you. If you need money, you need investments this week, this is a week to receive. So don't be shy, say, guys, I need this, and they will give it to you. On the weekend, pamper yourself. Your magical color pink, lucky number 7 and 35. Leo Leo! Power is in the air. The sun, your master entering your career sector and Mars retrograding and your creative house bring encouraging news all week. A fresh start awaits. Get ready for windfalls, one way or the other. New opportunities knock at your door. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Just be alert and be on guard and check it out and listen and watch and pick up the phone and answer the emails. The attention is also on personal life, family, and special projects. You're more and more in control of your destiny. You made it over the mountain. Just, just keep on walking. The valley is full of blessings awaiting for you. You're going to love the summer. I mean, things are just going to move you in your direction. And now you can feel this this week. On the weekend, it's absolutely royal. So wear your crown up high. Everybody's watching you. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, 8 and 46. Virgo, Virgo, the sun entering your karmic sector, and Mars retrograding in your house of home make you very daring and enthusiastic about everything. A good time to clean up, get rid of the old, and get ready for the new. You make a difference in everybody's life. Everybody says you are fabulous and amazing. And on top of it, this week, you are very sexy and you attract all kinds of fabulous people who just give you compliments. If you're single, you need to get out there because you can meet a soulmate this week or at least some fun partner to have fun with. Relatives, siblings, and friends definitely show they care this week. In other weekends, sing, dance, and have fun with life. Your magical color, turquoise lucky numbers, 9 and 11. Libra, the sun entering your shared resources sector and Mars going backwards in your communication house make you more in peace, very popular, loving and protected than everything you do. You feel absolutely full of hope. Your whole life is changing around, but now you can see it's going to be okay, a good time to explore, investigate, discover, and to also do things in a different way, experiment. There's a strong emphasis also on discovering new ways and meeting new people. Stress originality 
and go for your wildest dreams, especially on the weekend, magic is definitely everywhere you go. And you get compliments, and you get kisses, and you get smiles. Your magical color lilac, like, lucky like numbers 1 and 13. Scorpio, Scorpio, the sun entering your relationship sector and Mars going backwards in your financial house brings more peace of mind, higher energy, better health. If you've been working on some beauty and health project, you are getting results. Your creativity and power, your inner power is very much activated. And what you want this week is what you get, so make sure you bring, you know, big tasks of dreams in your mind because you're manifesting. Somehow in your relationship, you are experiencing a sense of truth and honesty, and it makes your heart feel much more in peace. Some friends may need some encouragement and support, and of course, you're gonna be there for them. On the weekend, passion smiles at you. You just have to smile back. Pisces, Cancers, and Taurus truly are grateful for you to be there in their lives. Your magical color red, like in numbers two and 28. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, the sun entering your work sector and Mars retrograding in your sign will slow things down in a good way. You can catch your breath. Ah, oh, what a relief it is. You receive also good news and feedback at work. In love, you get answers somehow to many of your questions. Your intuition helps you see the truth about other people's motivation. Focus on your goals and also the higher-ups are really watching you so if you want to negotiate and ask for a favor or a raise a bonus or something like that or a new title this is the week to do it leo cancer and aries really care and on the weekend you feel like a superstar your magical color red lucky like numbers 3 and 39. capricorn the sun entering your creative sector and mars going backwards in your spiritual house make you grounded practical you're smart, you dream big, but you're very much in the earth of reality. I like it. You attract also recognition for your hard work. Be generous and help other people be the best they could be. If there's a teacher, a guru in you this week that could be manifested and people are listening. And somehow it's important to be number one in your personal life. You have to do it that makes you happy. If you're not, make the changes. On the weekend, get ready for a very loving surprise. You won't believe it. You go like, oh, I'm loved. Your magical color, white, lucky numbers, 4 and 48. Aquarius, the sun entering your home sector and Mars going backwards in your social house. Bring more calm, clarity, peace in your emotions and your thoughts and your mind. And also, somehow, this week it's much more flowy. It's a good time to take a risk because now it's like you have the winds in your sails. You could also say farewell status quo, farewell the past, the more original, the more crazy and wild you are in your approach, the more successful you will be. And definitely something in the air allows you to relax. You can meet fabulous friends that really make you feel happy. On the weekend, you should recharge your batteries. Leo and Cancer show they care. Your magical color, silver, lucky numbers, 5 and 15. Pisces, the sun entering your communication sector and Mars going backwards in your career house bring you questions and answers and new possibilities about work and finances. Somehow you have brilliant ideas. You know how to promote your talents and your projects, so go for it. And you're sort of relaxed about it. Be very diplomatic, very patient, and keep a big smile on your face and you'll get what you want. Let other people also offer their suggestions. Listen, your strong intuition and creativity also help you find all kinds of solutions about things in your personal life, and you just are a magician, a wizard this week. And it's very important on the weekend to relax and to go spiritual, to listen to the soul messages. Yes, because the spirit guides, the angels of your life, are really helping you these days. Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers 11 and 28. And now is your wizard affirmation of this very awakening kind of week. Well, first of all, let's wish happy Earth Day on Friday. And let's do everything to keep our planet clean with fresh air, fresh water. We're doing it right now. You know, in life, we do shadow, then we get to the light. That's the way it works, and it's going to do very well. And I know all the leaders of the world are doing something about it, especially in America. Yuppie! And remember, that's the message this week. Love is a whirlwind of freedom, wildness, 
of spontaneity. That's what it is. If you try to control it in any way, shape, and form, it will die. So think about this this week. Happy Earth Day. I love you guys. Be good now. Be clean and throw your garbage in the garbage. <laughs> love you.